One of the principles I've tried to follow with my content is the idea of talking to a single person. Rather than say, hey guys, or hey y'all, I try to write or speak as if there's one person on the other side of the screen. And when I say one person, I'm talking about you. It's a bit disarming to think of all the people in the world, there you are, working in your office, or standing in your kitchen, or sitting in your favorite chair. I can't see you, so I don't know exactly what you're doing, but I know you're either watching or listening to this video right now. There are millions of other things you could be doing in this moment, and you clicked on my video. When I really let that sink in, I start to feel the weight of this question. Am I making something worthy of your time and attention? I also wonder what brought you here in the first place and is this video making you feel glad you decided to click? As of today's recording, I've got collectively around 1500 followers on various platforms. Now that's a relatively small number, but I also have a hard time trying to imagine a crowd of 1500 people. It's kind of comforting to think of your audience as a large, ambiguous crowd. People could show up, people could leave, but the shape of the crowd basically looks the same. But I think when we escape into thinking of our audience that way, when we use the language of masses rather than individuals, we miss an opportunity to create deeper connections with people. Sure, maybe it doesn't sting quite as bad when a person chooses to leave our audience, but it also doesn't feel quite as exciting when someone chooses to subscribe or follow. Think about what it takes for you to subscribe to something. It's a big deal. If I don't take that for granted, if I speak to you instead of the crowd, I think I make better content because I don't want to let you down. And I'm not talking about being someone I'm not just to get or keep subscribers. If what I talk about and what I make isn't a good fit for you, that's fine, no hard feelings. But if you're here because something I said made an impact and I promised more of that, I want to honor that promise. I want you to see my thumbnail in your subscriptions feed and know that if you click on it, your day is going to be just a little bit better. I don't know what your day looks like. I don't know if you had a bad day or a good day, but what if something I say or share helps you feel more confident or more motivated or more understood and pushes your day just a little further in the right direction? I hope that happens. I might not ever know unless you tell me, but either way, that's always going to be my goal when I hit the record button on my camera. You're the reason I do this, otherwise I'm just talking to myself, which is also a thing I do. Me, myself, my minivan, and my voice memos. We have the most amazing conversations. I guess the point of all this is that you being here is special and significant, and I recognize that. I don't know if talking to one person versus talking to a crowd of people is the best strategy for growing a huge audience, but I know it's the best way to have a deeper, more meaningful impact on one person's life. If I can make your life better in some way, that's worth more to me than having thousands of subscribers or millions of views. If I'm purposefully aware that you, not just some ambiguous crowd, but you are taking the time to watch this video it drives me to want to make something worthy of your time. It makes me a better creator, and I appreciate you for that, so thank you. This video is kind of me just thinking out loud, and I don't want it to come across as prescriptive, but I'm interested in hearing what you think. Does it make a difference to you when you feel like you're being addressed as an individual rather than a collective? Leave me a comment and let me know. And I can't say it enough. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.